hello good morning it's still Monday I'm just gonna record a second video today and we're gonna go over to I always say this so weirdly uh, I just call it tinker but it's not pronounced like that it's a t-k-i-n-t-e-r so pronounce it how you will anyway we are just going to get it set up and honestly you could also just follow the tutorial on their site, which I'll link in the description, but I'll just go over it really quick. So, um, Tinker is a package um, for Python so that you can have a GUI interface. And to get it actually set up, um, first you need to install it. So, if you don't have it installed, then there's two ways you could do it. If you're if you're on uh, PyCharm like I am, um, th these will be red, and you'll be able to click on this, and it'll also be red, and then it'll say like install um, package. That'd be one way. The other way is to get into your terminal and install it through there. And if you need help then um, comment down below and I'll, I'll try to help you out best I can. So there's the two ways to do that. But once you have it installed, you'll know because this will just be gray um, and it won't give you any errors. It's gray because it's here, but it's not being used. So now uh, what we'll do is we'll just go through this as best as I can. So like I said, the documentation and this actual little project, it's essentially like a hello world project to get you started and uh, Tinker is on their site and the first thing you do is you uh, like initialize it with root. So this is the, uh, if you watched actually my last video about classes, this will make a little bit of sense. So this is the class here you're just initializing it with this variable so whenever you do anything you'll be using this variable to call it so then here it will do our next thing and this gets the uh, frame so the box and sets its size um, and then this and they have good documentation as well so this here uh, sets the grid because they have like a grid structure for their um, modules they call them so they have like or widgets I guess I think that's what they call their widgets so they have like a, a quit widget and um, a text widget so this kind of makes it so it looks nice and then we have this here is a label which is also just really a, a text box um, and this just prints out hello world and we'll run this at the end and I'll show you what it looks like Excuse me. and then um, this here initially initializes or shows the uh, button for quit so there'll be like a little quit button and once you click it then it will um, get like remove exit remove the box and then this just loops through it so it, it's always showing so when we run this here you'll see this this is what all this does here so there's our little hello world um, this which you can actually change this I don't know how to off the top of my head, but you can. And then here's our quit. So there's this. And then if you click this, it just stops it. Um, and then we can play around with this a little bit. So if we change the padding to, let's say, like 30, and uh, we can change quit to uh, go away. All right. And now if we run this again, there you go changes the actual padding of how close the content is from the uh, outside kind of like in CSS kind of cool so click on that 
there you go it's pretty pretty simple start um, you can do a lot actually with this code here I mean all you need is um, some extra like functions or methods and you could I mean, you could do quite a bit so play around with this is pretty fun and let me know what you think thank you for watching goodbye